Hello, and welcome to Curlus Isram. I was actually going to briefly talk about something personal and say, here's a link to skip ahead if you don't care. But uh, actually, there's there's not much to say right now. Oh, yes. I was trying to remember which save to load. And that's because, essentially, I mean, I'm getting better, slowly, over time. But that's, that's about all there is to really say about it right now. Uh, that and that... Uh, butts. What? No. Sorry, I'm in a chat where someone's just like, butts, 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 butts. What I meant to say is that I will be gone this weekend, so like, there's gonna be a video today. Actually, no, I'm gonna post this, yeah, today, and then I don't know if I'll post anything tomorrow or the next couple of days, because I'm gonna be out of town. I'm. If I do post anything, it'll be like videos from where I'm at, which is just gonna be like, look, there's furries everywhere, because I'm going to Califer, so that's a thing. But I know you're here for the B117 Valkyrie by Alpha Centurion, which uses one to toggle afterburners, and two to change the level of roll authority, which I'm guessing just disables or enables uh, roll uh, flaps or something. Um, actually, I don't remember what action groups you can set. Just toggle deploying and extending and retracting. Okay, interesting. This uh, this makes me think. I, I don't know. It's it's like a combination of. I, I chose it because the name Valkyrie, and I thought it was gonna be uh, more like the XB70 Valkyrie, and it does have some similarity. But it also makes me think of uh, like Eurofighter typhoons and like uh, not. Not specifically a Eurofighter Typhoon, but that kind of similar style with the canards up front and the the intake underneath the center like this that's very smooth bottom to the plane, that kind of thing. In any case, here we are. Let's go. Let's go ahead and I activate the afterburners so we can get up a bit quicker. Yep, I did that on... I did that not intentionally, but oh, I just overstressed one of the landing gear. Well, that's nice. I also can't seem to put the landing gear up. Oh, that's because I hit T instead of G, because I'm smart. So let's see, it starts out with roll authority, looks like it's uh, pretty much maxed out, as far as I can tell. Uh, unless it suddenly gains more. I don't know what changed, honestly. Let's see, these are active for pitch and roll, so are those. When I hit two... Roll, it, it, what? I'm really confused. I, I don't see what that's doing. Oh well, not gonna worry about it. Maybe it's the- maybe it's these? I don't think it would be. No. I have no idea. Okay. Doesn't really- I, I- I don't know. Okay. Let's go ahead and- oh, maybe it's gimbal lock on the engines? Yeah, it's gimbal lock on the engines. So... yeah. Wait, hold up. Yeah. Gimbal lock on the engines. That, I don't know, that, that just seems uh, disappointing, like, I, I would say, if you're gonna have a toggle for gimbal lock, you should call it a timble, a timble? A toggle for gimbal lock, so I know what it is, instead of being like, I don't know what this is, help me. But, uh, this thing's very fast. Beautiful. I like it. I like it. Bit too strong on the roll sometimes, but, uh, overall, fairly nice. Not the most maneuverable either, but still pretty fun to fly. Definitely fun to fly. Alright, let's get real low. Oops, that's that's not real low. That's real low. That's too low. That's so low that, uh... Oh, shit! Nope, he survived. Everything is perfectly fine. And beautiful. <laughs> Next up, we have exactly what I mentioned. An XB... Valkyrie XB? Was it XB? Yeah, it's XB70 Valkyrie. Of course, they called it a KBX because Kerbal XB... Oh, hey, look, XB70 Valkyrie was an American prototype supersonic bomber that never saw active service, and it was designed to reach Mach 3 plus while flying at 72,000 feet. Essentially, the reason this plane never made it into service uh, was because ICBMs became a thing. Essentially, we wanted an extremely high-flying, very fast plane that could just soar over enemies and drop a nuke on them. But then ICBMs were developed, and no one needed a plane to go fly over someone else's country to attack them. We just could fire it from an ICBM. And so this plane was developed to, well into a prototype, it was flown a bunch, and yeah, there was this one crash that was pretty bad. And then it never, never went farther than that. See, I know some things. I do research. I pretend to do research. Actually, uh, let's see, what does this say for action groups? We can toggle the ladder with three. Do not toggle ladder while in flight. Too late. Already did. Okay, there it is. It's right there. And... Whoop. 
pull up. Very gentle pull up on this. Is this, oh, are these turbo jets? I, I actually, for some reason I thought these were panthers, even though they're obviously turbo jets. But uh, yeah, it's a pretty big plane. It's uh, also, yeah, I thought so. I thought so. The way it's flying, I thought there there was some. There had to be something that was like massive drag. Oh, and you know what it is? Duh, of course it is. It's it's these wing panels, isn't it? I'm guessing it's these wing panels. Oh yeah. See, there's a lot of stuff in here that's causing uh, not a lot of issues, but there's enough happening to where yeah, there's there's some pretty severe drag on this, unfortunately, and a lot of lift going towards the back. So it takes a uh, Six engines, six turbojets at full power, and it's not even uh, it's not even going that fast. Although I imagine if I got this to a higher altitude, it would go much faster. But uh, I'm too lazy for that. Instead, I'd rather uh, just take this really, really fast. Well, not really, really fast, but this relatively fast low flight, and just pull up as hard as I can to see if I can break something. And I can't, unfortunately. Although it does maintain speed quite well while pitching up. That's pretty cool. Yeah, it's a bomber. It's it's not it's not you're not gonna expect a bomber to do crazy flying. But uh yeah. It's XB seventy Valkyrie. I have to say, I think the intakes on the real thing uh yeah, the intakes on the real thing I think are more of a flat shape. Let me take a look real quick. Oh, that's not a good image. There's there's a it's Yeah, it's just it's not the it's not the same. It's not the same. Actually, it's pretty close. I think they should be a little bit separated, but not that much. Oh, but then this other image, it looks exactly like this. Almost. Okay, never mind. Awesome. You know what? This wouldn't be appropriate without crashing it into something because it's got a lot of parts. So we're going to go bomb the KSC with ourselves. Gosh, that thing turns so slowly. By the way, completely unrelated, there's this pretty cool looking private jet that you can buy. Actually, it's not a jet, but it's called a Cobalt Valkyrie. Looks pretty freaking cool. Next up, we have the E4, which is a flying wing design. Okay. Fairly flat. Like, really flat. Whoa. Bouncy. Alright. It's going. Doesn't have action groups. It has five to toggle the afterburner. Got it. Alright. But what what but there but what huh? Okay. Uh don't question me. Or do. I mean it's up to you. That's the thing I say a lot, like, don't do this or do. I mean it's up to you. This thing uh look at that. Look at how much the wings flex as you turn and jeez this thing this thing can turn a tight turn. Look at that. Spiraling down towards our dooms, unless I roll it. In which case, it's fine. Yeah, not much roll control. To be fair, I'm not surprised. And of course, of course it has yaw, uh, yaw stability issues, which is because it doesn't really have a uh, vertical control surface. The closest thing it has to that are these uh, wing panels on the side here. And while they do help, they don't help enough. It's very, very... Um, Thin, and that is allowing it to get to some pretty good speeds, pretty good acceleration with those three engines, because, I mean, it's essentially some fuel tanks, some engines, and wings. So that's pretty good. Pretty good. Ah, yes. Flies nicely. Okay, let's pull up before we crash, please. Yeah. It does a fairly good job of correcting itself most of the time, despite having a, a lack of yaw. I believe he left the uh, the control wheel on. Yeah, the reaction wheels are on for... Well, actually, let's see. Can we take a look at... Uh, where is it? Oh, we can't, we can't look at which axes the torque is working on. I was going to say, probably has uh, torque on because it is able to yaw somewhat. And, I mean, there are some control surfaces here that could be used for yaw, but uh, they wouldn't be very effective, whereas the fact that it has a control wheel would be fairly effective. Also... 
here's a good example of why it's good to have yaw control. We're, we're out of control entirely. Out of control. Because we yawed so hard that we went very off vector. We're uh, slowly regaining control though, so now we're back in control, although we're hurtling towards the ground. There we go. Fix that though. So yeah, overall, overall, I like flying it. You know, it's flawed with the yaw control, essentially, but otherwise it's nice to fly. It's, it's, you know, the, the wings flexing while it's turning and the explosions and the flipping wings. I mean, it's really cool. <laughs> and I just realized I completely forgot to say who made that. That was by Rudy1291 and the XB70 or the KBX70 was made by what guy 5 Next up, we have another flying wing design. It's a B2, and I'd say this is a pretty good replica of it, although I don't know why my frame rates decided to be an idiot right now. That's interesting. By Suliaman. Su Suli... I... I can't say your name. I'm sorry. I tried. I tried. A couple of times. How many parts is this? 260. Hmm. Hmm. Well, in any case... Mm-hmm. And, of course, this should have some yaw problems as well. Although, I'm guessing, and I, get, I could be completely wrong here, I'm guessing it won't have quite as many yaw problems. Alright, here we go. Oh, yeah, this, this, is, this is causing some time dilation. It's pretty big. Pretty big. Alright, managed to take off at uh, like 30 to 40 meters per second, and we're immediately having yaw problems, so I was very wrong about that. Wow, this thing just immediately started yawing to the right. I've got that control, but it's uh, it's definitely still trying to yaw to the right quite a bit. It's taking almost all of the yaw capability that this has, which I'm guessing is just reaction wheels, to keep it from yawing to the right. And then it, it wants to yaw a little bit to the left when I've pitched a bit, I mean when I've already yawed a bit to the left, but not nearly as badly as it just keeps wanting to yaw to the right. Wow. Yeah, so this thing, uh, you have to fly this one very carefully. Yeah, like see, I'm barely in control right now. And uh, unfortunately not a lot of speed. We only got two engines on there and there are a fairly good amount of parts, including some parts causing a lot of drag. And. Uh, we're also going to stall and crash right now because I didn't have enough speed to begin that loop and uh, and unfortunately we lost our control authority essentially and uh, now we're doing a little flip we might be able to recover from this but chances are we won't so uh, enjoy this crash unless I do manage to pull out of it I don't know we got 300 meters to work with uh, less than that actually because remember the ground's at about 70 meters so I'm pitching as hard as I can and as well as yawing to the left because it's yawing to the right quite badly and uh, I'm not sure if we're gonna make it it's I don't know no well, yeah we okay we're gonna be fine I mean we might hit that water tower in which case we're kind of fucked but uh, otherwise we're fine I'm pitching as hard as I can I mean yawing as hard as I can to the left and it is just going right Ooh, that's close. Yeah, that was pretty close. But we are managing to be in flights. Now it's pitching too much, or yawing too much to the left. I'm not tired, honest, honest. Yeah. Oh my god, wow. It's 11.45. I'm supposed to be leaving at 12. I don't think this video is going up today. I think it's going up tomorrow or some other time because I don't think I'll, I'll have, I, I have to edit in 15 minutes and I'm not even done yet. But yeah, unfortunately, this, this replica does not work very well. So we're going to uh, crash it right now in this, like, stalled, yawing, turn thing, whatever you would call this. I'm not really sure. But uh, I think we're about to... S I want to do kind of a, a cool tip and turn into the ground. Oh, yeah, we're going to do a tip and turn into the ground kind of thing. Uh, for a minute there, it looked like we were just going to fall sideways. And I was going to be like, well, shit, we just fell sideways. What am I supposed to do with this shit now? We're actually going to over yaw to the left and crash sideways right on the wing, right edge on almost, almost perfect crash there. Um, you know, frozen, frozen screen right now as it tries to decide what to do with this. But, uh, oh, there we go. Yes, you can figure it out. There you go. 
Good job, KSP. I know, that was a difficult collision, wasn't it? Wow. Hey, look! Part of it's still trying to live. Keep going. You can do it. You can escape. 